Okay, let's look at one of the other things. Okay, we talked about the power of video. All right, so YouTube is absolutely the number one um, video portal. I, I'm frustrated with them for a variety of reasons, but as a marketer, but as a consumer, I use them every day as well. Okay, so I just typed in Idaho Falls Home Inspector. Okay, and this is what came up. Um, so it's about um, tips finding a quality home inspector. Okay, so this isn't Brandon's page. This is the YouTube page, okay, mm -hmm. for the search results. And you can watch the video here. It's two minutes and eight seconds. And this is one of the things, okay, so let me let me share this to you, uh, with you as well. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it come up there. Okay, so one of the things that happens is um, we have the words on the video. So people can see it, they can read it, and they can hear it. Okay, so we've hit all three sensory um, factors for consumers. They're seeing it, they're hearing it, and they're reading it. And this is why if you don't have this on here, the wording on here, you should use closed caption. Okay, and you can see, you can closed caption a video when you set it up. Sometimes you call it subtitles. We call it closed captioning. Sometimes we call it subtitles. Subtitles really, to me in the old days meant you were watching a foreign movie and you had to read all that, you know, and, you know what they were saying, the translation. But this is really what we call closed captioning. Okay, but the, we've got the words here for Brandon on this one, so you can do it. Okay, I want to go back to this for a second, and it, it launched off, but it was two minutes and eight seconds. Okay, Comscore still, people that measure videos, um, Comscore has it at um, one minute, 37 seconds. If your video is longer than that, it better be interesting. Okay, and one thing about analytics is we can tell from, from analytics, from YouTube analytics, um, which Brandon has all set up, that um, how how many people came and watched that video and of the people that came and watched that video, how long did they stay on the player? Okay, and where did they exit the video? Okay, if somebody exit at one minute and 47 seconds and that's the trend, we need to look at that video, right, Brandon? Yeah. I mean, because what was after that sucked or they were just sick of what was when the first minute 47, they weren't going to invest any more of their time. Okay, so um, the fact of the matter is that we can tell, but uh, 137, a minute, 37 seconds. So when you're doing a video in the field about a furnace or a crawl space or this, that, and the other, you should keep that in mind. I mean, we're going to talk about all that. We're going to give you a script at the workshop on how to do a video. We're going to really get into video because video is important, like reviews. Mm -hmm. Okay, so look at here. He's number two in the number two position again with the same type of video. Um, what do you do, what do home inspectors look for? Okay, that's what people wanna know. Okay, so then we get on down to shorts, you know, which uh, uh, they call them reels on Instagram. Um, and we get into all kinds of things. Look here, Brandon's got the next video. <laughs> okay, so when people look for Idaho Falls home inspector, they don't think anybody else how it works in Idaho Falls except Brandon, cause that's all there is. Okay, that's not a bad thing, is it Brandon? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it keeps the home gym working doesn't it yeah it sure does <laughs> let's look down here again oh my gosh he's in the number four position as well for a home buyer's checklist remember we talked about that lead generation magnet where you can build lists with it right there okay so that is awesome awesome uh-oh another video brandon did you do all this man i'm telling you, you own youtube and then we're back into shorts or reels. We cannot um, do anything about that. This is somebody else's stuff. Uh-oh, another Brandon video. Uh-oh, another Brandon video. Mm, let's see. Oh, my gosh. Somebody from Phoenix slipped in there, but you got the first six or seven. Yeah. Okay, so, and those are incorrectly classified. They don't even do inspections in your area. But what you can see is because Brandon now controls the home page of um, YouTube for that particular search phrase with the same one we use, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, in, in the other searches, um, you can see what happens and you can see because I'm using a special, because I'm an internet marketer, look at the volume on that 170 monthly searches for this keyword phrase. Okay. So people come and watch the videos. All his team has built is know me, like me, trust me. Yeah. Okay. So they're going to say this, this Idaho elite inspection team is everywhere. 
Mm -hmm. All right. So um, that's it. Brandon, let's take a quick look because I don't want a video to go too long because we're way past the minute 37. This mm -hmm. is your personal YouTube page. OK, again, um, um, you've got all kinds of things in here that people can look at. You've got a link to your Facebook page right up here. And there's four more yeah. links if people want to see those links. Here's the most important thing. Do they subscribe? Because when you put up a new video, your subscribers all get notifications. If they don't subscribe to your channel, then what happens is you just have to hope they come back. Right. Okay. So, Brandon, when you think about subscriptions for we when we want to get we spend a lot of time on getting new business, don't we? I mean, the majority yeah. of our time is marketers. I mean, is that true for you guys too? Oh yeah. Yeah. New biz, new biz, baby. Uh -huh. But we very rarely reward the people that already know us, like us, and trust us. And so a subscribe video, a subscribe on your YouTube channel is really great because we can put home maintenance videos and other things, new products. We could do interviews with people about um, decorating, remodeling, upgrades, all kinds of things. And when people subscribe to our channel, then they automatically get notified of that. And all Idaho Elite Inspection Team is doing is bringing more value. Okay, to the people that you already served. Okay, so getting your prior clients to subscribe to your YouTube channel and having content on there that they that they find helpful is a big win for you in prior client marketing. And we aren't going to talk about prior client marketing at the lead generation. We're focused again on getting that new business in, getting that phone to ring. Yeah. Um, so that's it. Let's take a quick look here, Brandon, and see what you got. Welcome to the team. This is a, a video that uh, you've done. Um, okay, so here's the real you now, uh, unphotoshopped. Okay, and then um, here's one. Can you do a home inspection in the winter? You know, in Florida, that's not a big worry, but you know, where you yeah. guys live, that's a big worry. Okay, so now what we're doing is we're looking at some playlists, um, different popular videos. Here's uh, Miss Sarah, Brandon's lovely wife. Um, and then here's playlists, all kinds of different things. F view favorites, subscriber favorites, all the kind of things. So they've got all kinds of great videos and content on here um, that they keep putting on. Um, so this is where you drive, not home buyers necessarily, you want them to come there, but also you have an opportunity to, um, uh, to do um, good things for your prior clients. And again, if they just want to go to playlists and you drop traffic here, you can see all the different playlists that they have um to check out and one of the playlists we're adding now is home maintenance videos for these guys okay Brandon anything more you want to talk about on video I mean I've, I've kind of been doing the talking but I want you to get in here because this is your stuff yeah I mean that, that's what it's all about is is becoming a human to a lot of the, your potential clients and prior clients too right mm -hmm. um, and so that's how you really can connect with people is is through a video where you actually talk them through the process, you know, the things we find in the field, you know, we've, we've got interviews with, um, you know, our partner resources or our, um, trusted resources. Uh, we've got interviews with agents that we've worked with and, and what they love about our company and why they recommend us. You know, so there's so many things that you can be, you know, talking about, um, you know, that, that there's a service there that, that, uh, you know, we can talk about the radon and educating people, mm -hmm. uh, so really, it's all about, you know, providing, you know, content that people want to see, that people are curious about, um, that will add value, like you said, to, um, you know, what they're seeking at that time um, and, and getting attention. That's what we're here for, right? One of the other things, exactly. One of the other things, look at video number three is join the Idaho Elite Inspector Team, okay, Home Inspector Team. So the fact of the matter is, Brandon Scott, why should you join us? You know, home inspectors have choices or uh, somebody moves to Idaho Falls or they are a home inspector wherever they were, they want to be a, a home inspector where they've moved to. Um, and so what Brandon has is a recruiting tool uh, right here, a very effective recruiting tool where people understand what's in it for them by joining his firm, okay? And we have clients all over the country that have these. Uh, different things. Again, problems with infrared, you know, found with infrared, um, you know, high and home, uh, custom expert, venger, uh, dangerous venting mistake, um, you know, all kinds of things. So it's great information um, for both the client and uh, and for really for the agent too. And um, a recruiting tool, I can't say enough about video. 
Um, why not work once and benefit over and over and over again? Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to show one other thing too about this. And this is, we do this quite a bit for our clients because Google loves fresh content. I'm going to try to get rid of that. Okay. You go away. I don't want you there anyway. Okay. I don't, I'm going to now X back and see if I can get rid of you. Okay. I'm not going to be able to do it, but look at this right here. And it says updated seven days ago. Okay, so one of the things that we do is we try to go in and take videos that are older and make a couple little changes and then resubmit them so Google sees them as new so that we can stay up at the top of the search engines. That's just a little SEO thing that we do, search engine optimization that we do for videos. And we build backlinks both to uh, these individual videos and we build backlinks to Brandon's channel. So that's how he shows up when we looked at this search earlier um, this is how he gets to the top of the search engines, the things that we're doing on the back end. Okay, so that's um, a very, very important thing. And we'll talk about that. We're going to be talking about it. You're a local business, needing local business. You need that phone to ring. And we're going to be talking about what does that mean and how does that work at the master class? Um, and we're going to break it down in English. We're not going to give you any overwhelming <laughs> thing. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to give you action lists on each one of the strategies. When you get off the phone, you take action. Here's the list. Think about it as your to-do list for that strategy for lead generation. So we'll give you all that. We're going to give you access to all of the recordings that are done uh, on the masterclass. And we're going to give you handouts and all kinds of things to make it super easy. Let me rephrase that. To make it easier to get your phone to ring. Because it's not always super easy, is it, Brandon? I, mean, I, I, I shouldn't use that word. I mean, that's that phrase. That's not right. Yeah. Um, it takes time and it takes dedication. It takes commitment. You have to know what you're doing. Like Brandon told you, he, he built a website on his own. He was super proud of it. And I'm proud of him that he did it because now he learned that it went from page 17 to 11 and there was lots of dead bodies surrounding it because nobody goes to page 11 or 17. Yeah. You know, if you get, don't find what you want on the first page, you revise the search query or the question that you asked to get the right information. I did that this morning. I wanted to search something. I didn't get the right uh, information. I rephrased what my search string was and I got the right information.